सो हाई एवरी वन टोटली डिस्कसिंग अबाउट हाउ यू कैन इम्प्लीमेंट लोरा फॉर फाइन ट्यूनिंग ऑफ एल एल एम सो बेसिकली आई एक्स ऑलरेडी एक्सप्लेन हाउ लोरा वर्क एंड हाउ इट मेक्स योर फाइन ट्यूनिंग फास्ट एंड मोर कंप्यूटेशनल एफिशियंट सो बेसिकली लोरा इज अ मेट्रिक्स कॉम्पोजिशन टेक्निक दैट आई ऑलरेडी डिस्कस विच हेल्प्स यू टू मेक योर फाइन ट्यूनिंग ऑफ एनी एल एल एम ओवर कस्टम डेटा सेट्स क्वाइट फास्ट एंड ऑल्सो सेव अ लॉट ऑफ रिसोर्स सो टोटली ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड हाउ टू डू इट फॉर अ कस्टम डेटा सेट सो द डेटा सेट दैट आई एम यूजिंग टूडे इज Samsung data set which has this particular format as you can see on the screen the data set is getting loaded so majorly it has three columns id the dialog and summary so basically it's a summarization data set where we have the dialog between two people and eventually we are aiming for the summary of the dialog that has happened so here you can see that there is id the summary dialog it's a json file that we have got you can also use csv you can also use text file whatever you wish to do there will minor changes in the code that you need to do so first of all uh, we will start with pip installing the required libraries that is transformer accelerate trl data sets bits and bytes inops peft so peft is basically a framework provided by hugging face for implementing lora especially so that is we'll be using peft so here you can see that then eventually we are uh, importing a few important functions few of them might not be getting used because i have already copied from one of my old uh, notebooks but most of them would be getting used the most important ones being the auto model for sequence of sequence lm because you will find tuning flan t5 small apart from that training arguments where that will be preparing for the trainer then get uh, lora config get pift model sft trainer is very important because it stands a supervised fine tuning Uh, which we will be doing using lora so lora uh, implementation for lora is present in sft trainer only if you go with the default trainer that i have explained in a previous video on a normal fine tuning method in that case uh, lora won't work so you need to have an sft trainer for that that is coming from trl library so once we have installed everything uh, the model that i am uh, fine tuning is flan t5 small because of hardware uh, restrictions if you have a better hardware resources you can go for a bigger model Uh, this is a function that i have written for formatting the input that i have got so as i showed you we have dialogs we have summaries for that so eventually the instruction that i am passing is instruction use a task below and the input given to write the response task is summarize the input input is a dialog response is a summary now uh, moving to the crux of the whole thing uh, we would be providing a dictionary with uh, labels train for train or json test and then using the load data set function that we are getting from data sets we are importing our training and test data sets now using the model name as i have already provided i am loading this model as auto model for sequence to sequence lm the model is getting lo loaded uh, the files are also loaded this particular format prompt instruction format is required for lora because you need to provide a prompt instruction you will be seeing a parameter else we could have gone with the previous method only that i have discussed in a previous video on a normal fine tuning now the next part is we are loading the auto tokenizer also and we are changing the padding token to the end of uh, end of sentence token of the tokenizer padding is done on the right hand side so these are some uh, things that we need to do with the tokenizer now we are loading the arguments for training so the output directory would be output number of epochs is 1 uh, back size is 4 uh, saving strategy is per epoch and we have provided learning rate also there are many other arguments that you can provide that you can check now just displaying the subset so how the data looks like once loaded so summary id dialog there are 1000 Uh, entries that we have got now creating the uh, the most important part of this whole demo is creating the lora config and creating a peft model so lora config uh, in this function we are providing the arguments for lora how we wish to move on with lora so r equals to 64 r is the k is a dimension for which we are setting up so if you need to go back uh, to the video to understand how lora works and eventually you will come to know that lora works on a met id of matrix decomposition where we are decomposing the update matrix not the actual weight matrix the update matrix which we will be updating as n cross k k cross m so here r is the k the with the dimension which we are reducing so you can refer to that video for better understanding lora alpha is for scaling the weights lora dropout is uh, the percent probability for dropping out lora layers you can also mention which section to apply lora that parameter i haven't used bias equals to none that lora we won't be using for biases also and the task type is causal lm so causal lm basically means that we would be predicting the next token in the sequence now moving to the next part uh, creating the sft trainer object 
So in this, we are passing the model, the training data set. As it, this is for demonstration, I am using just 300 samples. Evaluation data set, PEFT config, tokenizer, pack equals to true. Formatting function, prompt instruction format, the function that I created earlier. So as you can see that uh, it's very easy to use. We are not doing any pre-processing also with the data set. Uh, you can do it, but uh, there is no reformatting required. You just need to provide a prompt function and it will work for you. Now we will be calling the trainer or train function. So here you can see that the pox have started running as a, now moving on to as the training is done. Now we will be moving on to how to upload this model to your hugging, uh, hugging face hub and eventually use it as other hugging face models. So first of all, you need to go to your, uh, you need to create a hugging face read and write token that I've already explained in a previous video, how you can do that. So once you execute this particular code, notebook underscore login, you will get a prompt to enter your token. So in that case, you need to enter the write token, not the read token, because we would be writing, we would be pushing this model that we have trained as it's uh, like, this is just for demo call. That is, I train it on just one epoch, but you can go for more. Now he eventually you can see that. Uh, we are pushing the trainer to the hub. So here you can see that the code has been pushed. The model has been pushed. Now again for reading the same model from the hub, not from local. What we are doing is that we would be again doing a notebook.login. But this time we will be providing a read token. So once I provide the read token, you can see that the token is valid. Permission equals to read. So now in that case, we will be loading the model that we have already pushed on the hugging phase hub. And eventually you can see that this is the path for the model. Gupta 7991 uh, forward slash output so where are you mentioning this particular directory here output directory is output now once the data once the model is getting loaded for summarization we are doing a subsampling from the uh, test data set and then running it for one of the dialogues so here you can see that we have got a result also so in this way using peft and lora config you can do fine tuning for any llm to be honest i have tested both uh, the normal fine tuning and LoRa fine tuning and LoRa fine tuning would be at least thousand times faster because I remember I was using just five batches and eventually it took me 10 to 15 minutes, like nearly five to 10 samples in my previous example. And it took a lot of time, but in case of LoRa, I think the time taken was just a few seconds. So nothing much. I think LoRa is quite fast and uh, one can give a try with that. As told, uh, when you're using LoRa, there might be a very slight degradation in performance as compared to general fine tuning this is because eventually you are doing some sort of metrics decomposition so some information is getting lost but i think if your task is not that complex you can go for lora any day as it is very very fast